Hey guys, uh, let me start off by saying uh, sorry about the lack of light. Uh, for some reason, uh, my camera goes darker as soon as I hit play. Um, so I have to look into that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, so hopefully you can see enough. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of packages here. Very exciting. Um, I thought i would show you guys as I open them. Um, I believe that's called unboxing. Um, and people are usually into that kind of thing. Um, so I thought, why not? Um, so if you do like it, let me know, and I'll probably do some more. Um, if no one says they like it, I'll probably not do it again. So yeah, um, so yeah, we've got some um, more cars coming. Very exciting. Um, a lot of cars coming in the mail at the moment. Um, right, which one should we start? We'll start with this. Yeah, we'll start with this one here. Do we go on? Um, yeah, so I got these off of... Um, um, off of a site called Trade Me. It's basically New Zealand's answer to um, eBay, except just for New Zealand. So, um, see what we've got in here. I know what we've got in here because I've checked the uh, sender. So, um, okay, right, how do we get into this? He's wrapped it up very nicely. Um, there, will, there should be three cars in here. Once I get into it, hands a bit shaky at the moment. I'm not feeling 100%. It's not the coronavirus. Um, I just feel a little bit sick tonight and a little bit shaky. So I don't know what's going on. Here we go. All right, we're in. We are in. Let's have a look. All right. Okay, that must be all three of those in there. Put that over there. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Okay, first car. And again, as I've said previously, I'm going to spe let you guys speculate uh, what teams these are going for. Um, some of them are very obvious, uh, like this guy here. Um, we have a Rolls Royce in very good condition, I must say. Um, the paint job is very well, uh, very nice. I don't, I'm going to go ahead and say that this hasn't even been played with. Um, very nice condition, if you can see that in the poor light. Um, it's a light grey, silverish. Um, and what it is, um, I keep forgetting what it's called, Silver Shadow. Um, I've got another one, a very similar one, from my own personal collection. So these two will be on the same team. Um, let's see how it rolls. Very hard to push for it. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'd say it's probably better than mine. Ooh, my one went further. Okay, maybe not. Um, yeah, very nice, very nice condition. Got the doors that open. That's cool. Um, sorry if my hand's shaking a bit. As I said, I'm sh a bit shaky. Um, but yeah, very nice condition this car. Very pleased. Alright, move on. Uh, where do I put them? Over here. Now these two cars are very similar. And they're very interesting to me anyway. Here we go. I'm wondering if anyone knows what these cars are. Oops, doors open on that one. Any guesses? I can't hear you, so I wouldn't know if you're guessing at all. So here we go, Here's a bit of a close up. This one's in better condition than the other one. This one's a bit, has been a bit played with. Oh, that door keeps flying open. I wonder if that's going to happen now. Yeah, I bet that's going to happen in the race quite a bit. Door flying open. With terrible driving, they might be jumping out. So, okay, so these cars are in pretty good condition. This one's got a few paint chips, and that one's got quite a few more. But these are from the Swiss brand Monte Verde. I don't know how you say that. Monte Verde? Is that how you say it? And they're called... There's that door again. It keeps swinging open. Monte Verde Hai. H-A-I. Uh, I have no idea if that's how you say it. Um, why these are interesting to me is that... You can't even see them there, can you? Sorry, guys. Let's pull them back over here. Um, why they're interesting to me is that... <laughs> that door. Um, in real life, these cars... There was only, I believe, there was only two vehicles made. 
individual vehicles that is not just two types of vehicles um, because I googled all of this before I bought it and um, I think they had about 50 prototypes planned and uh, um, 50 planned and they had two prototypes and uh, for some reason the rest of the 50 got cancelled so they were just left with two um, the two prototypes and um, yeah, I find that very interesting. I, I, I wonder what the story is. I haven't really looked into why they were planned, um, uh, why they were cancelled, but they were. So, um, yeah, I, the, the, only ve the only Monteverdi vehicles that I could find online were of these two cars. So I, I can't remember if I've got two different ones or they're the same. I think they're the same, although just looking at them, no one's... Ooh, no, I think they are the same. I think they are the same. Um, let's see how they roll. Roll pretty good. This one's maybe slightly not going in a straight line there. Maybe slightly, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how they go on the track. Okay, that door. Don't know how we're going to stop that door from flinging open. But there we go. Um, let's put these goes over here so you can see them. Move you up the way. Alright, let's move on to the next ones very excited about these. Um, I, I know, we got two cars in here or three? May have three. Um, I remember two of them and I'm very excited about those two. Might have a third, I can't remember. This. Now these are from the same guy that I got the others from. Um, the BMW, the, um, the Citroen, a couple of Lotuses and one more. Uh, can't remember what the fifth car is. It's on the table somewhere, I just can't see it. Oh, and the Cadillac. Second Cadillac. Okay. Looks like we've got three cars in here. Let's see who's first. We have... Da, 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 da. Oh, yes, of course. The one I couldn't remember. You guys will probably recognise this one. Master RX-7, I believe. Um, I've got another one um, in its packet inside, um, so it's from this from this year, I think. I don't think it's from last year. I think it's from this year. Um, so yeah, very new car. Um, so that means we will have a master team running this exact same car, and as expected, runs pretty good. Not surprising for a new car then. So that's a very simple one. You guys, I imagine, will know all about that one. Okay, these two seem to be together. So, okay. These are the two I'm excited about. So let's grab, grab one I want to show you first. This car. Now, this is a very old car. It is a Ferrari... Uh, something. 30... What did I say? 3 or 4 miles aren't very good lately. 3 or 4 or something like that. This car I'm excited about because this now you, you guys may have heard me say that I've had a bunch of cars go missing um, and they were my favourite half of the um, my collection. Um, they were my race cars. I put all my race cars, most of my race cars together and separated them out. For some reason that lot's gone missing and we think have been stolen. Which is really, really gets under under my um, skin that that happened. Um, but this was one of them, and I found this online and from the same guy. And I thought, no, nah, I'm snapping that up. Um, it's very nice. It's much better condition than what I had mine on. There's a bit bit of a chip on the top there and across the back. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got any other Ferraris. So at the moment, we have not got a Ferrari team. Um, of course, that could change, but I mean. With Hot Wheels cancelling their um, thing with Ferrari, their license with Ferrari, um, it's a bit harder to get Ferraris these days, which is really annoying. But, um, so they roll. Well, it goes in a straight line, which is okay, it's not bad. I don't think it's going to be overly fast, but there you go. That's okay because we haven't got a team for it. And now the last car. Very excited to see this guy again. Now you guys will probably know what this is. Um, it is a Ferrari Fiero. Oops! 
Or is it? Pontiac Fiero. Um, if any of you guys are on here and you're like, why did you just say Ferrari? Go check out the Ferrari tournament for 3D Bot Maker. It's a, it's a common, uh, it's a well-known inside joke now. Um, that cars like this are Ferraris. <laughs> um, of course, they're Pontiac. Um, again, this is one of my old cars. Um, I used to have... Um, it's a very wide car, I've noticed. Um, seeing it again, very wide. I, ha I think I have seen... And it's a Matchbox, I believe. Here it is. Matchbox. I have noticed that Matchbox... Um, are not always 164 like Hot Wheels are. Um, I can't remember, I saw one 162 or something. So the scale is slightly different to Hot Wheels sometimes. And I'm wondering if the, uh, uh, is the smaller number the bigger the car? Uh, maybe that's why this looks a bit wider. Um, and you look here again with this Ferrari, which I believe is also Matchbox. This looks very wide and grab a Hot Wheels. Um, yep, I don't know why I'm checking that. Of course that's Hot Wheels, if you can see, it looks a little slightly skinnier, the Hot Wheels. I don't know if that's just because the Mazda RX-7 is skinnier than this Ferrari in real life, but you know, it could be because Matchbox make it a bit wider cars. So I reckon, I don't think I've got my track out here, but I reckon that this car and this Ferrari over here will struggle on an orange track, so good job I'm not using the orange track. Um, so yeah. Very nice car, decent condition, let's give it a run. I think I just did that to one side, or is it going slightly to one side? I think it is. Interesting, okay. Um, we do have a Pontiac team uh, in Division 2. So that's interesting. But yeah, okay. So that's all the cars I've got so far. As I say, I've got another bunch coming, I've got a whole big, uh, it's about 40 odd cars in one lot, um, really exciting um, to receive that because there's one car in there that you will recognise if you watch 3D Bot Makers channel, um, it's one car that I used to have, it's one car that did very well in its tournament, it didn't win the tournament, but it did very well, so there's a big clue to, as to what that car is, um, yeah I'm really excited to see it again, I used to have it, um, I think I had a slight variation of it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see what cars are in there because we're still at this stage. Uh, off the top of my head for Division 2, we need two cars. Division 1, we need two or three. And uh, we need a Holden for Team Australia. We need uh, Team Mexico. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna have to get in touch with you guys um, to see if you want to still send me those Nissans. Um, if not, all good. I'll go get another Skyline. Yeah, we're nearly there. Uh, nearly out of time. So, thank you guys for watching. As I say, if you enjoyed watching this and want to see me do the next ones, let me know. Catch you guys later.